Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Ducky O'Brien, and today I'll be covering Final Stardust Cosmic Nexus. Final Stardust Cosmic Nexus was developed and published by Nara Saidana, and it'll be releasing on December 15th, 2023. Don't have the MSRP yet. Okay, why don't we get started? This is a, essentially a card game. So you might think like Yu-Gi-Oh! I think it's kind of inspired by Yu-Gi-Oh! But there's like elements of Pokemon and stuff. So this is the review build, so a lot of stuff is missing in the game. Okay. So you can talk to people, but uh, it's boring. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Let's just get to the battling. So you can kind of battle, and you can raise your relationship uh, meter by battling those guys. And as you raise it, you unlock new cards and stuff. That looks good. Okay. Play this guy. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's level two. The bird evolves, right? Yeah, it's not kind of like Pokemon. There's like a beginning part where you lay out your cards and then you can attack in the attack phase, you know, etc. Oh, we need to evolve the dude. No, no, what? No, <laughs> I didn't get the evolver. You, how could you do this to me? Fine, go there. Oh my god, you wow, <laughs> how could this happen to me? <laughs> Can I not play this? That's fine, I don't care. That's what you get. I'm a little confused. Or right, anyways. Now they keep adding stuff. I just want to add the little bird guy so I could evolve him. I think I lost, fellas. I think they made it harder. What is this? What the f- <laughs> What the heck? It was so easy before. There was a, a bunch of updates, so... I think you can use like one spell card and put one monster down. Oh, I can't. It's gonna die now. Like, I, I don't know, whatever. Um, oh my god, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I just lost. That will, I can't put this down because you have to evolve a level 1. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I just died then. Alright, that's cool. Anyway, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna quit. I, I can't do this. <laughs> I lost already. Wow, what the heck, man? Am I wasn't that supposed to fight? That's like the first guy if you fight, right? Am I supposed to fight like number the, the highest number? No, that's. What the, what the frick? I will right, we'll go with the girl then. Jeez.
I feel like there there is some potential here, but like it, it just needs to feel a little bit better. It feels awkward when I'm clicking on stuff and like I'm clicking on the field and like it's not going there. Um, I think you need to like make it more apparent like what cards are, are playable and what, what isn't. Uh, or like why I can't play the card. So like this, this is playable or looks like it's playable, but you can't put it down because it has to evolve a level one. So I think the UI needs to be a little bit cleaned up and it needs to feel snappier. Like when you play Magic, when you play Hearthstone, you know, when you play any card game, it has to feel good, right? So if it doesn't feel the best, then, you know, it's just gonna, it's not gonna want to play it. Um, okay. HP. Can I play this card too? I can't see. Yeah, it feels a little clunky. Like I'm trying to click on him and it just, you know, just won't. Anyways. I can have to wait the second turn to evolve that guy. Uh, this is a lot easier. for the finisher off. <laughs> <clears throat> Saying so that's supposed to like level up and stuff. Um, a lot of features aren't in the preview build yet. I'm assuming it's gonna be ready once the game comes out into early access. Um, Hopefully, <laughs> it's not going to be another day before. Um, let me see. Is there like a, it's like a menu and stuff that you could look at. We'll, uh, we'll try number I like this art style. Why didn't they use this for like all the character portraits and stuff? Okay. <clears throat> I think one thing that can happen is like when you're out of moves you can do, it just goes to the next phase automatically and have that be toggleable. So instead of having to click next, it just does it for you. Um, I, I think that that would be good. Oh, nice. I got this guy, dude. Go in there. Uh, yeah, he should die.
Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of a delay in going to your next card and clicking on it for it to attack. Feels a little awkward. Wait, yeah, how? <laughs> how can they uh, summon two monsters? What the heck? Is that like an ability? Anyways, I can involve them now. Nice. I'm gonna play this game. Oh. There we go. Yeah, see, it's a little, a little sluggish. No. My <laughs> god, leave my bird alone. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Okay. Oh. Well, the bird's dead, so. Easy win. So I feel like there's potential for this game because it's essentially card Pokemon. And it's very simple. There's only three slots for monsters and you can evolve the monsters or use spells. So it's kind of more fast pace. I feel like if you can keep the face pace very fast and just make the UI is like the interface, how you interface with the game super snappy, there's potential here. Cause like, I think one thing you could do is I would also make the, this, this field bigger. Um, I, I think people would want to see the monsters, the Pokemon fight. So if you can see the, the monsters larger, that'll be great. Because um, there's so much empty space here, our new space. We don't need this because you know, it's not like we draw the cards. It's just given to us automatically. So you can just have a little number here saying how many cards we have left. And uh, make this a little bit larger. And yeah, I would also make it so that it's more... At a glance, you can tell, oh, I have this card, but I can't use it because it's an evolution. Now, when you play the game a little bit, you'll understand that. But from the get-go, you're like, oh, level two monster, why can't I put it on the field? And, and people will be a little bit confused. So <clears throat> I think it should be made a little bit more apparent. Like you can gray it out or exit out and say you can't play this card. Uh, you can only play one ability, so it's like, okay, you know, if you once you use an ability, the other ability card should be X'd out or grayed out. And when you have no playable cards left, you should just go to the next, just, just keep the pace going, you know? Um, but another thing, like, the interface has to be better. Like, I'm trying to click on the Pokemon to attack, and it's just like I'm clicking on it, it's not working. I have to wait a little bit. There's some sort of unnecessary delay. It should feel snappy, right? It just, just feel really fast. It's just like you're playing the card and just putting it down. Anyways. I understand they don't have the budget, but I think it'd be cool if there was voice acting. Like when you're talking and the characters are voiced, that'd be cool. I would also polish the artwork up a little bit. I think there's potential here, but a lot of it looks a little, little bit rough. Some kind of charm there if they can 
kind of fine-tune the aesthetic a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it quits here. I think that's enough to show off the game. At least that's the state of the game right now. Uh, it is Final Stardust Cosmic Nexus, developed and published by Naur Saidana. It's gonna be coming out very soon, December 15th. I don't have the cost, but my estimation is that this game shouldn't cost more than 15 bucks. <laughs> if you charge more, I don't I don't think people are gonna pay money for it. 20 bucks at most, but yeah. <clears throat> usually indie games of this scope you usually go for around 15 bucks. That's going to be it. Hopefully this gave you guys an idea of what the game is like and hopefully you enjoy what you saw. If you have any questions, let me know. I can leave one in the comments down below. And, you know, my offer still stands. If you, the developers watching this and you want any feedback, you want any help, I'm willing to help out. You know, I can code, I can write, I can edit. Um, so I can't draw or make music, you know. I can try. <laughs> That's not going to be good enough though, but yeah. I'll do it for free if you just give me a credit. Obviously, I'm not going to give you like, you know, like a thousand hours of work for free. <laughs> but if it's like, oh, I need a little bit of help touching this up, I'll do it, all right? Okay, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and catch you guys next time.